When it comes to text game, a lot of people worry, a lot of people stress, am I doing it right? Should I have sent that? What should I do? But hopefully from this video, you'll be able to get some of the rules and fundamentals that I always go by when it comes to texting a girl that I like. So let's get right into it. Okay, the most important thing when it comes to text game is that you wanna make sure that you're trying to meet up with the girl in person. That is the goal when it comes to texting is to try and meet up with the person in real life. That's why you got the number in the first place and that's why you're continuing to message her, hopefully. <laughs> um, if you're not, then you guys are pen pals or something else. And I know this might be a silly thing to start off with, but a lot of people, they get into these uh, text conversations where they're, they're kind of going nowhere. And for everything that you do, you have to realize what the main goal is, which is that you wanna meet up with this chick in real life. Fundamental number two is to keep things fun and positive. You always wanna have a fun and positive vibe when you're talking to the girl. You want her to feel good, positive emotions when she's texting you, when she's spending time with you. If you're a guy who she feels good around, who she feels happy around, then she's gonna wanna spend more time with you and you're gonna be more attractive. But if you introduce negativity, you introduce other things that are not so positive, not so great, um, then she's gonna be experiencing negative emotions and uh, for most people, they wanna be around people that make them happy. Fundamental number three is be able to re-engage. Re-engaging when it comes to text message is very important because you don't really know when the conversation ends. If people send a message and they take three hours to respond, uh, or if they take just a few seconds, it's difficult to know if you're still kind of having a conversation going because the conversation ends in real life when the people stop talking to each other. But in texting, you don't really have that. So the best way to re-engage when you maybe you haven't sent messages for a while or something like that, um, is I would go back to tip number two, which is you know try and say something fun or funny. I like to tell a funny story that happened to me that day and then ask her how her day's going or something like that. Or maybe you could send something funny you found on the internet. Being able to re-engage is very important when it comes to texting. Number four is to respond quickly. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of guys out there that are telling you that you should wait before you message a girl. You should wait to respond to appear higher value. The guys who are telling you these things aren't getting laid, okay? People who wait too long to respond to messages, people who uh, you know, they purposefully don't text a girl for a long period of time, um, you're playing a game that doesn't have a good end result. You wanna be responding quickly because it's difficult to get a conversation going already, and if you're taking hours or days to respond, it's just not gonna happen, and you're not gonna meet that primary goal, which is you wanna meet up with her in person. She's gonna think you're not engaged, she's gonna think you're not interested, or she might forget about you. We all have lives, I mean, don't, don't be breaking your back to try and be answering your phone for her, um, but you also wanna respond as quickly as you can. Number five is don't stress too much about what you're saying. A big rule when it comes to pickup is it doesn't matter so much what you say, it matters how you say it in the context. You know, maybe you might be able to say something that fits your personality that doesn't work for somebody else. I know there's gonna be guys that tell you, oh, you shouldn't be sending emojis, you shouldn't be sending um, a lot of this, that, or the other thing. I know guys who send tons of emojis that do well. I know guys who send no emojis that do well. You know, both both work, they both are successful. Um, it depends on the context. You know, 90% of what's going to happen, the success of the interaction is determined by your initial interaction. When you first talk to her, like how did she think of you? Did she like you? Did she, was she attracted to you? That's what's gonna determine whether this works out uh, for 90% of it. And the other little things about what you're saying, about the actual game when it comes to texting, um, might be around like 5%. So I want you stressing, I want you worrying about the stuff that actually matters that is going to make a difference um, and yeah sure you'll learn by practicing what works for you and what doesn't work for you but what might work for you might not work for somebody else and what might work for somebody else might not work for you so I don't want you to stress too much about this I want you to stress on the actual fundamentals and the things that are going to make you successful hopefully you got something out of this you guys those are my fundamentals when it comes to texting women that you like let me know what you thought about this if you made it to the end consider subscribing I come out with videos like this every single week thanks a lot you guys and good luck out there.